Hey folks, Knox with IT Inspired here. We are back to continue on our SQL journey, and oh, we're so close to getting to the scripting uh, and the code and the querying, the stuff that you developers and, and report writers really wanted to get into. But there's one last step that we really got to tackle, and that's loading up a sample database. Microsoft is generous enough to provide you with a really big and robust database that they've had now for a pretty long time, and it's called AdventureWorks. And every time they come out with a new version of SQL Server that comes out with new features, uh, they tend to update AdventureWorks to have some more sample data in it so that you can test out those features. So as you can see, I'm on GitHub right now, and I'm on the uh, Microsoft SQL Server Samples section, and you can see there's a bunch of different AdventureWorks. The one that you're going to want to download is right here, the AdventureWorks2017.bak. A .bak file is a SQL Server full or differential backup. We're going to talk about that a lot more when we get to the backup section, uh, but right now the file that you're going to want to download is this AdventureWorks2017.bak. So if you downloaded, uh, downloaded and installed SQL Server on your desktop, you can just download this straight to your desktop. If you put it on a server environment where you've got a lab, uh, maybe you've got a file share and you want to dump it in that, uh, or maybe you've got a shared folder on the SQL Server, um, you can you know dump it in there. I'm going to bring up that SQL Server that I've got. I'm just going to drag it over here onto the screen. And I actually did dump mine on a file share. So I'm going to grab it really quick. I'm going to come back to my C drive, and I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call this, you know, backup restore or something. And I'm going to paste it right in here. There we go. I've got my .bak file. Okay, cool. We are at this point ready to get going, restoring that database, and then we can move on to the actual scripting and coding. Oh, we're so close. Let's get it done. All right. I'm going to bring up SSMS. And right here where it says connect, I'm going to click database engine. And it's already got my SQL test one saved. Uh, again, I'm using Windows authentication. And if you were using SQL server authentication, uh, you would change it to SQL server authentication. Type in that username, probably SA, and whatever password it is. I'm going to go ahead and click connect. And right then it brings me in and I'm connected. So to restore a database, how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. What we want to do is we want to right click on databases and simply click right here on Restore Database. And it's going to bring up this little dialog box. Um, if you had databases already on here, you would be able to select it from this dropdown. But since we don't, since we're restoring this from a file for the very first time, we are going to be restoring from a device. And we're going to browse to that device with the little dot, dot, dot dialog box over here. And you see, we're going to, our backup media type is a file. We are not backing up from a URL. So we're going to click Add, and we're going to go to that folder that I made, Backup Restore, and look at that. There's my AdventureWorks BAK right there. When I click OK, and then I click OK again, it brings in the full database backup with all types of, of details and information. Look, the last backup, this was, this was taken on Friday, October 27th, 2017. So that's pretty new for a good sample database. Very, look at all this cool information you can find here about this. Uh, this is the type of stuff that um, the DBAs really, really love. So if you really didn't care about your setup, if all you wanted to do was just run, uh, get into this and start with code, you could click OK right now. Um, since we made a couple decisions when we were going through the install process about where we want our files to live specifically, um, if you were to click OK right now, it would probably restore it to the default data directory. Let's go ahead and click Files and see what it's got. So you see it's got the original file here. This is where it was originally created when they created this. And the Restore As, it, it took the liberty of moving it to that E drive, uh, where I had created that SQL data. In fact, you can bring it up here and you can see um, we created this SQL data E drive during the installation process. Uh, so that's very cool that when we set that default, um, we would it, it, it automatically takes the restores and puts it in there since this database didn't already exist. Now, if you did, if you did want to move them to a different place other than default, maybe you didn't set those steps up uh, when we went through the installation, you would simply check this box and you would choose where to save the data files and where to save the log files by going through the browse dialog box. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone. 
Let's check out these options. If you had a database already in place and you were overriding it, you would have to check this box. Some of these other items here, they, you know, these are big DBA type questions. And if, if we're just getting started in SQL, we don't want to be overwhelmed right now. Let's just ignore this. We're just setting up a sample database for the first time. Let's click OK. You can see the progress going right here at the very top. There's a little stop box too if you get scared. Just like that, it restored successfully. And look, over here on the left-hand side, we now have a database. This is what a database looks like in SQL Server. Um, it's this little cylinder-looking thing with the name of the database. And if we expand it, it gives us all sorts of nifty information. The big thing that you guys are concerned about, remember we were talking about tables in one of those first videos where they were nothing but big Excel files, essentially? This is it. Look at all these tables. Look at all this data. Oh, we're going to have some fun querying this. Okay. Now that you have a database restored, we actually have something that we can work on and do some querying in. I'm so excited. Uh, in the next video, we're going to actually get started with the most fundamental things in SQL, and that is the select statement. All right, get out there and try it out.